Hey everybody, it's Colette Baron reed Welcome to the, uh, <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> we are doing the weekly Oracle card reading for this week, September the 12th. See how Mercury Retrograde is affecting my brain? <laughs> it's kind of going. <laughs> Anywho, okie dokie, we are into the second week of, yes, the second week of Mercury Retrograde. We have one more to go. And uh, I have to thank everybody. There's been such extraordinary support for my new book, Uncharted. I, I just can't thank you enough. Um, if you guys haven't yet ordered it or pre-ordered it, you still get 12 of the amazing, amazing speakers, speaker series. You get a reflection journal and you get a workbook. Actually, we call it a playbook that goes along with the book for free. And it gets all, it shows all the exercises that are in the book all in one place so you don't have to move around. And uh, anyhow, I'm so excited. And again, I'm just so humbled. Thank you so much. Okie dokie. So what are we dealing with this week? So remember, this is a prescription rather than prediction. Um, first card that shows up is the Wizard of Awareness. And when I use this deck to train Envision coaches, so we had a class called Divination Energetics, the first piece of information that everybody had to learn, and including in my Oracle card classes now, but for coaches, it was always remember to stay in a state of observation where you are neutral and you are not projecting your stuff onto other people. So if we were to look at every single one of us as stepping out into the world as our own healer, our own coach, our own intuitive, um, the first and the most important thing that we have to do every time we wake up is to stay observant. Observe our thoughts, feelings, and beliefs. Observe the world through a state of neutrality. Don't take this world personally, it says. <laughs> Even though it may feel like a lot of energy is directed towards you or at you, it's not about you. And that's really key this week. Now, that doesn't mean that you're going to run across anything negative this week. It just means to stay neutrally detached because that's the source of your curiosity. So the soul self is the wizard of awareness. That is your soul. The soul self observes. It is not worried about its mortality because it's immortal. It has no interest in anything other than experience. So it wants to experience itself through you. It's your connection to spirit, to source. So this is where we have to think this week as we walk into uncharted territory, um, as the world speeds up. And for those of you watching, if you are interested in being a deliberate and powerful co-creator, manifesting your desires, well, this is the kind of stuff you have to start thinking about. Now there is no rush. Again, this week we got slow and steady, that beautiful fairy snail. <laughs> so. No rushing forward, staying in the now, and also reminding ourselves we only have to live our world because we do experience it, even though it might be an illusion, it doesn't really matter. Our personal, physical experience is in 24-hour compartments. So it's also saying, stay in the day, stay in the now as best as you can. Don't project into the future. Interesting. Two challenger cards are at the end, or I like to call them now protection cards, because I really get that they are not about anything bad. They're What they are is to help you make sure you don't fall into a hole. So rescue is in the protection position. So it's challenging all of us. What's it challenging us to do? Participate in our own rescue. Don't look for anything outside of us to tell us whether we're worthy or not. Um, my friend Nancy Levin has a fantastic book also called Worthy. I highly suggest you get because this is really, I'm noticing, especially around women, because we've been so programmed to think that we're unworthy or somehow we have to fight for stuff, blah, blah, blah. Inequity in the world. I won't go into all of that, but no matter who you are, male, female, this is really about claiming your life and trusting your accountability for it. Now, it's all about thinking and feeling and what we project into the field the field of consciousness, spirit with a capital S, source with a capital S, the mind of God, however you want to look at it. This is key. The end is cleaning house in the protection position. So I always look at that as it is like really looking at the thing you don't want to let go of. Like I was so addicted to coffee. I, I got to be honest. Um, I just did not want to give up my coffee. And all of you see me, if you've seen me at, uh, even on my TV show, like on, um, uh, motorcycle medium. If you look at that up on Facebook, you'll see some of the tour that I went on. I am 
I am having coffee on stage all the time. So I didn't want to give it up, but it was also making me not feel good. So it's, I realized at one point that I wanted my coffee more than I wanted to feel good. Once I got that through my head, I'm like, wait a second, that's not right. I want to feel good more than I want my addiction to coffee. So think about that. What kind of life do you want? Where is your attention? Where does your energy go? I don't have headaches anymore. I'm not feeling bloated. You know, it's again, it's just one little thing. Once you surrender that, it's like, ooh, other things can happen. But if we're stuck in the familiar map of the past and doing the same thing over and over again, if we do what we did, we're gonna get what we got. If we're gonna hang out with the same people, we're gonna get the same feelings. If we're gonna let people take advantage of us, we can't say it's their fault. Uh, you know, there's all these kind of things that we have to start being accountable for. And it's not about self blame, it's about self love. And that's what I want you to think about this week. Love you lots. Bye. And if you like this video, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends and leave a comment. As you can see, sometimes I come back when I have time and I actually go down the list and answer them. At least I like them. I put the little thumbs up. <laughs> Bye. I've seen the future. It's beautiful. I've seen the future. And I